Hello, my friend. Uh, Pastor Kurt here. I'm going to ask a difficult question today. What does it take to forgive? What does it take to have someone in your life that's offended you, hurt you, done an injustice to you, or done an injustice to someone you love, even worse? What does it take to forgive them? Well, the answer is very, very, very simple in Scripture. Not easy to do, but easy to understand. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind and compassionate to everyone, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. To forgive others, it takes a sense of your own forgiveness. I can remember one day I had... Uh, my son came home from school, and he had had a stressful day at school. And as we tried to work through homework together on that stressful day, he just, he just couldn't get it done. And I, I got upset at him. Then my wife got upset at me, and then I got upset at her, and then I got upset at myself. Because I realized that the tone I was using, the intensity that I was bringing, was just the same tone and intensity that my angry and isolated father brought into my childhood. I was being the worst, the things I didn't like about my dad. Well, I got alone in a room, knelt down in prayer. I said, God, please forgive me. Forgive me. I don't want to be that sort of father. I don't want to be that sort of husband. And in that, God just whispered a little thought in me. And the thought was simply this, your dad couldn't give what he didn't have. He couldn't give what he didn't have. Kurt, I give you forgiveness. Well, we have a sense of how much we need to be forgiven and how much Christ has done to forgive us. It changes every relationship in our world. When we start looking at all those around us as an opportunity to extend the forgiveness that Christ has already extended to us, it changes everything. Instead of being upset by all of the expectations that are not met, instead of being upset by all of the hurt that is done, instead of being upset by all of the injustice that perpetuates itself in our world, we start becoming agents of real reconciliation. It's not a forgiveness that excuses sin. It's not a forgiveness that ignores sin. It's a forgiveness that admits that we ourselves are sinners. That's a total difference. What would happen if we really believed we were forgiven? So much so that we sought to forgive others, that we became aggressive in giving grace. My friend, if there's ever a time in our world where we need people to be aware of how much God has forgiven them in the church to extend that to others, it's right now. I'm not saying compromise the truth. No, I think this highlights the truth and it transforms the falsehood. Now is the time for us to be agents of forgiveness in the relationships in our very own home and in our church and in our politics and in our world and, well, in every place that God puts us.